Translation. And yet others say that you appeared to rejuvenate the devotional service of hearing, remembering, worshipping, and so on, in order that the conditioned souls suffering from material pangs might take advantage and gain liberation. <coughs> so, Asmin Bhave. Asmin means this creation. Bhave means creation. Bhava. Bhava means you become. Uh, you become means you vanish us. As soon as there is question of you become, to vanish us. Anything which is born must die. This is the law of nature. Uh, the so-called scientists are trying uh, that they will stop death by their scientific research work. But they do not know that anything born must die. Janma mrittu. This is relative. Uh, and anything which is not born, that will not die. The matter is born. Anything material that is born. But spirit is not born. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, na jayate na vriyati va kadachit. The soul is never born and therefore never dies. So bhava is mean, bhava, the bhava means this material world, cosmic manifestation. Uh, bhava is mean klishamananam, anyone who is within this material world uh, must work. This is material world. Just like in the prison house. It is not possible that he will sit down and he will be honored just like son-in-law. No. In our country, son-in-law is very much worshipped. Hmm. Worship means flattered, may not divorce the daughter. Therefore, nobody should expect uh, and we may speak something humorous about son-in-law in India. Formerly it is still uh, the system that the daughter must get married. That is the responsibility of the father. It is called kunnada. A father may not get his son married. And that is not very great responsibility. But if there is a daughter, the father must see that she is married. Formerly it was 10 years, 12 years, 13 years, not more than that. That is the system, that was the basic system. Kanna. Kanna means before attaining pivot. Kanna. The kanyada, she must be given in charity to somebody. So, in the Kulin Brahman, Brahmana, very respectable community. <coughs> so, it was very difficult to find out a suitable son in law. Therefore, formerly, one gentleman may become a businessman simply by marrying. <coughs> uh, 
in my boyhood when we were a student, a school student. So I had one class friend. He took me to his home. So I saw one gentleman who was smoking and he told me, do you know this gentleman? So I asked, oh, how can I know? Now, he is my aunt's husband and my aunt is the sixty-fourth wife of this gentleman, sixty-fourth. So these Kulin Brahmins, they, their business was like that, marry somewhere, stay there some days, again go to another wife, again go to another wife, again go to another wife. Simply going to the wife, that is business. This was a social system we have seen. Now these things are now gone. Uh, nobody will marry uh, the husband who has married sixty-four times. <laughs> but it was there. So Sanilla, in that case, is very much honored. There are many stories. We should not waste our time in that way. <laughs>